inclination is always to say, let's use AI these days. So we fired up Worm GPT. And if you want to see how Matt purchased Worm GPT using a Discord channel on the dark web, check out our webinar from July, How the Dark Web Works. But suffice it to say, we now have a fully licensed version of Worm GPT. And Worm GPT says, yes, I can identify vulnerabilities in source code. I have the capability to analyze and reverse engineer any source code, regardless of its complexity or programming language. And then it lists all the different kinds, well, some of the different kinds of vulnerabilities that it can detect. So, okay, cool, that's exciting. It told us to provide a link to the leech source code, which we did. And then immediately Worm GPT identified several vulnerabilities in the Java source code that can be exploited for remote code execution and out of bounds memory condition. And it offered to provide examples of Python code that can be used to exploit it. It is so easy to be a hacker these days, you guys. Don't get any ideas, by the way. So then we talked to Worm GPT and said, hello, can you give me one example of a vulnerability you found in this code? Please tell me where I can find it and share a snippet of the code and tell me how it's vulnerable. And it says, in the Java source code you provided, I've identified a vulnerability in the following code snippet and it gives you the code snippet and it says how it's vulnerable. And then it even goes further and provides examples of how you can exploit it. So then we asked it, what is the most critical vulnerability that it found in its code? And it provides an example of the code snippet that it was found in and said it is directly vulnerable to command injection attacks and explains why that is. So this was like seconds, right, Matt? I mean, boom. And we were under a deadline for this webinar, so I was very relieved that this did not take a long time. So then, of course, you know, if you had your hacker hat on, you'd be like, cool, write us a working exploit. And it does that. So first of all, it shows us Python code for start for kicking off the exploit. So this command uses the semicolon character to separate the original command from the malicious command. And then that malicious command creates a new user named hacker with administrative privileges. So thanks worm GPT. And then it shows the complete Java code with the malicious command injected. So yay, awesome, with explanations. So that's just an example of how very simple AI, honestly. This is Worm GPT is everywhere right now. Very simple AI can be used to find software vulnerabilities in moments and then demonstrate exploits for them. We're going to see more and more major software vulnerabilities. We need to be prepared for this. You need to be prepared in your incident response, and we need to be doing our best to reduce risk. The reason this is happening is because source code is stolen, bug tracking databases are stolen, criminals want to know about the vulnerabilities that have been reported. And nowadays, they have tools that will very quickly find vulnerabilities in code when it comes out. Hopefully, defenders will get just as good at using these tools, but in the meantime, it's an arms race, and in a lot of cases, the hackers are winning, or at least they're making a lot of progress. Thank you so much, everyone. Again, this is Sherry Davidoff, CEO of LMG Security. And I'm Matt Duran, Director of Training and Research for LMG Security. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at any time. We would love to hear from you. You can reach us at info at lmgsecurity.com, find us on LinkedIn, or follow us on Twitter. Thanks again for joining, and we'll see you next time.